Previously on The Last of Us, Part 2. Abby was here earlier. Where'd she go? I don't know. Tell me. What happened here? This aquarium that girl told you about. Tommy hasn't found Abby yet. That's some craft bots. I'm trying to understand how you get to that same spot we were in before. This was a room that we had to... The reason why we fell is because the weight of the uh, cart. The floorboards could not sustain it. And I found some revolver action. We like that. Revolver ammo is the play. We love all of this. Thank you for giving me some of my supplies back, which I had to waste for a fucking idiot. Jeez, that, these bloaters are getting harder and harder. The guy would not die. He would not fucking die. The more I, the more I shoot him, the more he's just like, yeah, nah, thanks. Lit, you're giving me health, dude. Thanks. Wait, it was. This was the part. Wait a minute. It is. This is the door. That's fine. Absolutely fucking fine. Wait. Wait. Oh, we had to come up here. We had to come up here. We, we couldn't have just pulled that up. We needed to do this. Because the door was actually stuck. There was a... There was a, a big old ass pipe obstructing in the uh, the chains. So, no matter what, the game incited us to uh, explore, ladies and gentlemen. And kill the fucking bloater. Lit. Can we open up this door? No, we cannot. Oh, we can open up this one. Let's go. I is one, uh, one angry looking water. What big old ties to, uh, sustain now and to take on. Let's go. Ballad in the sea or the river. Almost there. Damn, son. We're going skiing, baby. Let's go. Taking this boat ice skating right now. Holy shit. Right, we're going to the right, I guess. Yeah. Holy smokes. Use the right again. Don't want to get close to any walls. Play it safe. Holy shit. No, it's pushing me to the left. Wow. Help. Hasta la vista. Seattle. Whoa. We're still in Seattle, but you know what I mean. Holy smokes. Right. This, this isn't looking good, by the way. When the sea's like this, it isn't the play. To go out with a mini small looking shitty boat like this. This is like a take your child to work day foundation boat right now. This is not the play, dude. Oh my god. And especially when you fuck it up like that. Oh, I think we're gonna die. Yep. That was expected. We're gonna die, boy. Oh, we're so dead, dude. Come on. Come on. Surely all the wet all the weight from the weapons would carry me down. Would drag me down more and more. Surely. Yes, we can. Uh, come on, Ellie. Ain't nothing stopping this woman, man. Yup, I'm under. I'm under the sea. I don't care about the fucking waves now. Ain't no wave gonna stop me. Bye now. There we go. Come on now. Should the weight of the weapons you're carrying would just drag you down to the to the uh, seabed. Oh, this is so not good. I don't like I don't like the vibe this aquarium's giving me, I'll be honest with you. I'll be the one to say it. I am not a fan of the vibe this fucking aquarium is giving me, dude. Not a fan of the vibe right now. Wait, did we waste this a little bit? Yeah, we got two more hits on it. Uh I'm gonna do it. Two more hits in it. We're going to repair it. And then we're going to just increase that damage. We'll find some craft parts around. There we go. Okay. Abby, where are 
I don't, I'll be honest with you. This place doesn't look lived in, Ellie. Of course it wouldn't. You don't want to make it obvious for the uh, outsiders, but still. Um, surely the door, the front door is locked, so I'm probably going to have to go from the side we just discovered. Got another door over there. Alright, let's check this out. Yeah. Figures. I like to try everything. We don't want to miss anything out, as usual. You know you know how I play walkthroughs. If you've watched my previous walkthroughs of any series, ladies and gentlemen, you know that I don't like to miss anything out. And if anything, I like to explore all of the things I can get my hands on. And all the things that a game provides me. Hmm. Conveniently broken for me, huh? Got to be someone in here. Oh, I don't like the vibe this aquarium's giving me, dude. I'm getting some Batman uh, Arkham City vibes, although, uh, you know. But I'm getting some uh, Batman Arkham City vibes. No, ergo, the fucking aquarium shit. You know, when you go into Penguin's Museum, that aquarium uh, level with the big shark in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm getting right now, but... Oh, this is not the play. Not a fan. Huh. Jellyfish. Tropical fish. We have all kinds of fish. You want to see the fishy? Come here. Oh, you know you have to go through that. I don't want to. I am low-key shitting myself, dude. I'm shitting myself. I'm shitting myself. I look like I'm shitting myself. Low-key. Uh, ah. 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 Why is it so fucking dark in here, dude? Just come out. We can talk about this. I'm shitting myself, dude. This is all this stuff. Um, aquarium shit to make sure the tanks are clean, like filtrators. Um, I don't know, fish tank cleaners. Don't know what the fuck you call, but you, they look like filters and like things you can. There you go, compress gas. Things to clean the fish tanks. They're, they're, there's a lot of bacteria that builds up within them. You have to. Make sure they're really clean. You know what I mean? Especially with a variety of different fish, which are most likely delicate to some sort of... Or, or this sort of bacteria. But, you know, I am shitting myself and I'm trying to distract myself with uh, uh, aquarium knowledge. If you'd call it like that. Um, Because it's real dark in here. And I can hear all sorts of fucking sound effects. And, uh... Yeah, no, I, I'm slowly become faded. I'm faded right now. I am gone completely. I'm not here. Salve ain't here. If you'd like to make an appointment, climb the ladder, dude. Climb the fucking ladder. You good? Thank you, dude. What the fuck was that? My, my, the textures just went away for a second there. The whole game just crashed. The fuck was that, dude? You know what? This would help if I'd know where the fuck I'm going, but I don't. I guess I have to go through that gap. There's going to be a pop-up, I know. It's too quiet. We haven't seen a single living soul for at least 15 minutes now, and, and when it gets like this, you know you're going to die. <laughs> Please leave me. Er, I don't want to hurt nobody. Not that I'm capable of because I'm shitting myself, but it's all good. Is that a weapon bench? No, of course it wouldn't be. No 
one's coming up on the hearing mode. That means there's going to be a fucking pop up. Dude! Please, please. Look, I haven't done nothing wrong. You know what I mean? Just out here trying to. Trying to chill out. Playing some Last of Us. Yeah, I know. You don't. If Oh, wait. Do I? Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. 157. Holy shit, dude. Endure. Otherwise, lethal damage will instead leave you at low health. At low health. Giving you an opportunity to escape. Craft smoke bombs. I don't think I need them yet. Okay. This is all done. Hold breath. Craft more arrows. Craft more explo craft explosive arrows. That that could be... Uh... I'm, go I'm going to go for endure. Craft smoke bombs. Craft improved health kits and craft... More smoke bombs. Okay. Craft. Alright, oh, we've done this. We don't have the six times scope yet. Craft explosive arrows. Let's try the explosive arrows. Why not? It improved trap mines. Craft more effective trap mines that are deadly at greater range. That's fucking sick, dude. I like that. Uh, improved Molotovs. 50% flame radius. More trap mines. More explosive arrows. Hold breath. We're going to go for this. And then we're going to go for the more arrows because I kind of want more arrows. We're also going to go for uh, smoke bombs. Now that we can craft all this kind of shit. Uh, so it crafts arrows times three. So every time it crafts, we craft three arrows from now on. Which is going to obviously waste and consume more of my supplies more likely and resources. Uh, a recipe requires explosive and binding. We do have that. Yeah, so we're going to have two just in case. We like that. We're about smoke bombs. That's a Molotov. I don't know why I have two. Oh, you know, we did use it against the bloater. Right. But what about smoke bombs? Wait. Stuns enemies in a small area. An impact generates a concealing cloud of smoke. So what I'm confused for is... We had a stun bomb before? So that's a smoke bomb. Wait a fucking minute. Craft melee. Oh, stun bombs become smoke bombs. Add, add in smoke screen, which blocks... Oh, so what... Used to be, what well, once used to be a stun bomb, stunning the enemy for a split or a few seconds or a few minutes. No, I wouldn't say minutes, but a 15 second gap or a time uh, now becomes smoke bombs, which has all of the efficiency and all of the effects um, and status effects of a stun bomb, right? But it adds a thick cloud of smoke or a smoke screen which blocks enemy line of sight. So you basically mix the stun bomb with a smoke bomb. Does that make it OP? Oh yes, sir. sir it indeed does. But we fucking like it. Uh, we have now seven supplements. We got we got busy with that, didn't we? So let me check this out. Swap weapon. Swap ammo. Yes, we want to swap ammo. No, not the explosive arrows. There we go. We want normal arrows for now. Um. This is close quarter combat, and if we're gonna find, if we're gonna get found, it will be some, it will be a pop up, and it will be behind an angle. So this is very, very close. If anything, we should probably stay with, you know, actual gunfire weapons, actual close quarter weapons, pistols, shotguns, maybe the rifle. I'd probably go with a shotgun here. Melee weapon. This is gonna be close quarter. Where the fuck are you? Yeah, uh, she's not in here. Dude, if you haven't found her yet, uh, yeah, well, this could have been a trap, by the way. And now Jesse has split up. We've lost Jesse because he went to save Tommy, and we are by ourselves on the look for Abby at a an abandoned aquarium that doesn't look shit. for shit lived in. Most likely a trap. But most likely gonna die. Hey, I don't know what I'm where I'm going. I'll be on, okay. No, I found it. We're good. There is. Are you serious through the ventilation shaft? Who do you think I am? A fucking rat? I always turn the corner looking. I literally always turn that corner. Always pointing the analog. Did I don't like this. But listen to the sound effects of free. Fucking now you choose to turn off. 
Seriously, dude? Out of all the fucking time, now you choose to turn off flashlight? God damn, son. Sound effects are on point, dude. So realistic. They offer such... Well, I was about to say they offer so much immersion. Now we're fucked. Oh, come on. German Shepherd. Get off me, dude. Fuck him up. Bye now. Oh, man. Not what I wanted for a German Shepherd. Oh, man, the dog just bled out. I just heard him die, dude. Poor doggy, dude. I have a dog. When I have to kill dogs like that in game, it's just fucking heartbreaking, dude. That's just not what you want to see, especially if it's a German Shepherd. I love German Shepherds, dude. It's a canine one. Wait, there's a guy here. I can hear footsteps, dude. 3D audio is it's bugging me. You literally can hear everything, every allocated sound directly into your eardrum, dude. It's fucking scary. I can hear footsteps, dude. God. I think there's a person here. I think there's someone here. This definitely, definitely lived in now. It seems like Abby is here. And that guard dog was definitely her canine. It's definitely her. Hers. Well, only one way to find out, ladies and gentlemen. And that's to just keep exploring. Through this uh, treacherous and ominous fucking aquarium, which is eating me up. So I'm shitting myself. The, s the soundtrack is absolutely eerie. It's intense, and it's just really not getting better for me, is it? Well, this this is someone's, what used to be someone's sleeping quarters and still is because it's lived in now. That's where, huh, this is how they fed the dog. Poor doggy dude, I had to kill him. I'm sorry. Stupid fucking dog, dude. Why you attack me like that? I know I'm coming into your property and shit, but... You know, I had to. Can you make... I was gonna say, yeah, she said shit because she dropped that and she made noise, but... Dude, can you stop making noise? Seriously, is that so hard? What, what's so hard to understand about a stealth element? It's not that hard. Should we open the door or go throughout, through the bag? I don't know. I'm gonna go through the bag. Owen Moore. Owen. Owen? Yes. Really? This is Abby's friend. Firefly. Really? It's part of the Fireflies, dude. You're not in, are you jotting that down in your fucking journal? Really? Does it seem like your time, Ellie? You're making noise. You're dropping shit on the ground. You just killed a fucking d guard dog. Right, and, and, but if it seems it seems it seems fit to just jot shit down in your journal, why not? Right? <laughs> May the Lord help us. I can hear voices. Well, this is gonna be interesting. People don't come back on that island. Times does Abby risk her life for you? She chose this. I'm not fucking going there. Then don't. Go back. Fuck you, Owen. Hands up. This is gonna be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Where's Abby? You're that girl from Jackson. No Tell shit. Me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? You give her what she wants, and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. I'd have, I'd have just shot him, honestly. If it was up to me, I'd have just shot the both of them like dogs and find Abby by myself. Where she is on this and path. find Abby by myself. And then you. It better fucking match up. Okay. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth Stop. it. Stop. We can talk Back about it. Back the fuck up! Point to where she is. Fucking Well, that was expected. 
There we go. Can I press something? Thank you. Good for prompting me. Oh my god, she's actually gonna stab me, dude. I'm pressing as hard as I can. There we go. Bye now, Mel. Bye now, Mel. Bye now. Take your fucking lap. There we go. What the? It's all right. Come on, let's go. Let's go. It's all right. I understand how she's in shock in killing these people when she's been killing throughout the whole of the game. We kill people on a daily basis, right? We stab them literally in such a brutal and ruthless way. But then she just goes in shock and panic for killing people like that. Uh, of course, the shock also comes from the fact that she shot a pregnant woman and in result killing a child, which wasn't yet born. But see what happens. Wait. Oh, she's back at the theater with her. Are we without a coat now? Can we just go around? Can we just go and explore the theater? Wants us to anyway. Oh, Dean is asleep. Okay, cool. Wait, we have a book here. Is that like a manual? <laughs> she took yes, she did. This is <laughs> sororities here. The sorority secrets. That's kind of funny. <laughs> we read this in uh, one of the uh, latter episodes. Uh, one of the, I think it was, I don't know, episode 14 or 13. We actually read the whole of it. Well, the back. From Helga, the most important part of college was pledging Omega Theta Phi. Just as her mother had 20 years early. Just as the mother had 20 years early. Yeah, we read this. Now we're ready to know the secrets of the coveted sorority. Very cool. Very feministic. I like it. It's cool. All right, let's go. We read it already, so I'm not going to read it again. It's cool, though. I like it. Very feminist. Very cool. We like it. Very, very feminist. Abel Glendon Band. Moonlight 1979. Good old days, huh? Now let's go and find the guys. Now that we found Tommy. Well, technically, he found us with Jesse. Hey, I'm not gonna. I'll be. I'll be the one to say. I thought Jesse. I thought Jesse dead, literally. I thought him. I thought him dead. When we split up, you never split up in an apocalypse or in these type of situations. Nah, by the time we get there, this whole area be thawed. Where are you going? Needed some air. What are you guys doing up? Couldn't sleep. Come take a look at this. Thought is to head home via Ellensburg. If we're in Fall City by tomorrow, we're doing good. Not gonna go. Hey. She's not gonna go. She wants to go and finish it. They got what they deserved. But she gets to live. Yep. She wants to finish it. I said that in the last episodes. It was gonna happen. 
Otherwise, there's no story. Is that okay? Nope. It has to be. Hmm. I'm really not looking forward to going through Idaho again. What you should be worried about is what Maria's going to do to you when we get home. We've been through worse. <laughs> However, as I was passing through some ritzy section of town, I come across this necklace. It sparkles a lot. I think it's real gold. You think it's real gold? It's real gold. Let's see it. <laughs> I know what gold looks like. If it's legit, can we say it's from all of us? Ha. You find your own damn bribes. <laughs> I like that shit. Jesse's got the good thinking over there, you know? Got that 200 IQ mindset. How you doing? Fine. Barely. Fine. Thanks for coming back for me. My friend's problems are my problems. <laughs> You're such a sap. All right, how about, uh... My friends can't get out of their own damn way. It's better. Oh, shit! I'm no shot. No shot, are they gonna kill Tommy now? <laughs> I shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up now. Don't you fucking dare. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Fuck. All right. Stop. Stop. Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon. Fuck. No. No. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. And Jesse dies. I told you. Holy shit. I said if anything happens to Jesse. Or Dina, I'm gonna stop playing the fucking game. I'm gonna stop playing the game. Dad? Wait, what? Who the fuck's- Dad? Is this Abby? Are we playing with Abby again? Like the introductory mission? Dad? No shot, dude. Come what the fuck's happening? Why is it bouncing me back to Abby? Just in a good moment of things four years earlier. Why are you bouncing me back to Abby now? The, the, it was just about to get good. I wanted to see what happened. Is she gonna shoot Ellie? What, what's going on? No, I'm not saying I'm not enjoying it. Still cool. I, I just don't see it the moment to do it. It's so... It was just not the, the situation or the opportunity. You know? Unsituational. Unopportunistic. You know what I mean? Not the play, chief. That was... That just fucked up my vibe. I'll be, I'll be the one to say it. What a dick move. All right. Now we're finding her daddy. Dad, come on! I wonder who her dad is. You can't keep doing this. I would explore a little bit more, but I think we gotta go around this side. Oh look, it's a fucking squirrel. Dad! Where are we, dude? Where are you? Where are we? Are we what now? There. Oh, look at that. Dad. Randomly found where I was meant to go. Where? I, oh, that's why she went here. We go. Oh, over this she actually saw some tracks. Okay, lit. I'm going go all the way around, Abby. I'll be honest with you. Oh, no. There we go. Zoo Lights Festival. 
Clear. Uh, book your tickets now. Glow more lights. Well, missed it by 20 years. Yep, kinda. You missed it by 20 years. Yes, you did. Well, so that makes Abby, just like in the introductory section of the game, a uh, protagonist. It's great. I don't, not sure if... Jeez. Uh, hello? I'm not digging it. There better be not, a, there better not be a fucking pop-up, because I'm going to be real pissed, bud. There is. As soon as I climb over this window or some sort of window, it's going to pop out at me. Play it, dude. There we go. Hey, all I'm gonna say is I I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this. Can't get through here. Oh. Okay. Look at that. 1978. Kind of lit. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure I'm a big fan of it. Not a big fan of the uh, character switch there. Due to the uh, interruption and like, it kind of interrupted the immersive and like the captivating okay. feel that cutscene had. I, I was just about to get into it. Jesse died, and it didn't even get me. It didn't give me time to even process the fact so that Jesse is dead. It, it just, it just said, you know what? We're gonna send you into a flashback four years earlier, dude. Fuck you. Haha. <laughs> Lit. Lit. Know what I mean? Not the play. Just, just, just ruined my vibe. It was just not the time. Not the time. It was really not the time to do it. it just, you couldn't, you couldn't have picked a worse timing. Uh, hold up. Jesus, you have some shit balance. Holy smokes. Well. Abs? <laughs> you, uh, you got a little mud on you there, sweetheart. So do you. Where? Right there. Oh. You know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit about it. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Dad. Abs. She's been hanging out right on the other side of those trees. And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her, and then, and then we'll head back. I promise. Let's just make it quick. See? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. Dude. I'm still uh, processing. No, I was here. Owen ratted me out, didn't he? He did his job. I swore him to secrecy. Huh, Owen is dead, dude. How'd you get huh. to talk? Uh, I asked. Huh. I am so pissed right now. Should probably cut through the playground. Yeah, I'm coming, dude. I'm so pissed right now. I'm trying to cherish and appreciate the graphics, the visuals, the beauty, and hey, look what I found. The vibrancy and the colors that this cutscene, that these cutscenes have, but wow. 1978. Don't have that one in my collection. You can keep it if you promise not to pull anything like this again. <laughs> what would have happened? Deal. Why don't I believe you? No reason I could think of. Question now, with that dialogue. Keep looking. Dad. Relax. You'll be Lit. back with Owen before you know. It. Wait, what? Nothing. Just noticed Ooh. you two have been hanging out a lot. Yep. More so than usual. We work together. <laughs> Abs, it's fine. I like Owen. Oh <laughs> God. Come on. Embarrassing, Dad. How long have you known? I'm your dad. I see things. Like the way you both try really, really hard not to look at each other when you're around me. You get all serious. It's very cute. I can't handle this. And he makes you laugh. <laughs> That's because he's such an idiot. I just like how he's extra nice to me now. <clears throat> he gets all nervous when he has to keep me in check. <laughs> so you're taking advantage of him? Me? Never. As much as I'm trying to appreciate all of this, the beautiful moment between daughter and, and dad, or father and daughter, and, you know, the beauty in, in 
I'm kind of getting attached to these guys, and I'm ch I'm figuring out what Naughty Dog did here in making her the protagonist in a way, and getting to know her inside of the story, and her background in the story, and the the attachments and their personal relationships that she had with her family, friends, and the people we've just killed. So it makes you think about what you just did, and Joel's courses for killing the people they were attached to. So it makes you decide, or it, may, it gives you a choice to decide whether Joel was right or he was in the wrong, or is Abby right or is she in the wrong? As much as that, it did ruin my vibe, but I'm now appreciating what the game is delivering and what they're trying to do and bouncing the story between the, and the, the two insights of what, of the past of the two protagonists, Ellie and Abby. It's cool. It's a cool idea. It's a cool concept. I've probably never seen it done in an open world game. It's very cool, and I'm 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 trying to again, like I said, I'm trying to appreciate, but I'm also trying to process what the fuck happened, dude, because they just killed Jesse and the oh, fuck. They just killed Jesse, and the game just went nah. We're just gonna bounce you back to Abby's storyline now. <laughs> All right, Abby's past. There he goes. Welcome. You know what I mean? It, I don't know. Kind of pisses me off, but at the same time, appreciating this. Where are we going? And Abby enters the ominous mouth of the whale, only to come out the other side and find some octopus tentacles. Maybe a horse giving birth. They did say she was due. Who was due? A horse? Yeah, a deer? Fresh tracks. Wait, this is just your sneaky way of giving me a tracking lesson, isn't it? I would never. <laughs> Is it working? Well, I mean, I found you. Yeah, but you cheated. You do what you need to do to get it done. Wow. You actually listen. You have your moments of wisdom. Moments of wisdom. He's your father. He's got more experience than you. Appreciate it, you clown. Find anything else. All right, if she was Jew, are we talking about a horse here or a deer? I'm gonna go with a horse. Sounds more logic, right? More logical. Uh, Daddy? Uh, we might be in trouble here because this, this looks like a little bit of a liver and a fucking heart, maybe. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna throw up. Uh, Dad, I found da something. Yeah, that's fucking nasty. That's what that is. That's nasty. Shreddy gave birth. Uh, uh. Two sets of tracks. Dad? It's her. Let's go. <laughs> doesn't sound good. I wish she got fucking smoked by Yeah, I wish she got smoked by an infected. That's what it looked like. I didn't I've never seen an animal give birth like that before, so I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm coming! Jesus! Come on. Why is there a military truck here? Well then shoot him. You know they roam. You brought your gun, right? Yeah, we just shoot them on fucks. Shoot the clowns. Oh shit. Abs. Let me guess. Infected. What? A zebra? A fucking I, I okay, expected a horse, a fucking deer, no. Nah. Well to be you. fair, we're at a zoo, so it's logic. Yeah, it's logical. In there. She's gonna, yeah, the zebra's gonna die. Abs, come here. Come here. I'm gonna hold her. Okay. Uh, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Stop. Stop. Are you around here? Over here, Owen. What? Hey, get over here and help me hold her. We need you back up. Owen, hold her. Come on. Oh. They were fireflies. Look at the symbol on Owen's um, body armor. Uh, yeah. The bulletproof vest has the firefly symbol. They were not. This zebra is so dead, by the way. This zebra is going to die. Yep. Holy fuck. Is the zebra going to die, though? She's going to bleed out? We got Hey, wait. Dad. Going on. Come on. Gotta help the zebras. Gonna bleed out, you clowns. 
Wait, St. Mary's Hospital. We're at St. Mary's. What the? And she's regrouped and rendezvoused with her family. Doc, Beautiful. That girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene keeps talking about. Marlene? They found they her told you, Thomas. Fife. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. <laughs> that can't be. They're already running tests on her, but you got to get down there. Dad. Soundtrack. Let's go. Come on. They were fireflies turned, obviously. It's intertwined with the brain. There's no other option. Move the specimen without destroying the host. The host? She's a child, not some petri dish. You think I don't... I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Or are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I this is about am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? This is about 35 minutes before Mylene dies, by the way. Look, everything. Because Joel kills her in the last one. All the in part one. All of the horrific. All of that is justified with this one act. If this was your daughter. You wouldn't do it. Exactly. What would you do? You wouldn't do it. Shut up. <laughs> Abby. I buy some dinner. Thank you, sweetheart. Look, Marlene. Do it. Thank you. I'm gonna go tell Joel. Mm. Why? He traveled across the country with her. He has a right to know. Yeah, it's about 20, 25 minutes before Marlene. Good and all good luck with your surgery. Yeah, and this is about 25 minutes before these clowns die, obviously, except Abby. And I think Joel kills her father. And that's why Abby wants to get back at them. That's why Abby killed Joel and the rest of the people. They were fireflies. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> no, he's not. He's killing a daughter. He's killing a young yeah. girl. If it was me... Oh, she heard. She overheard. Holy I smokes. want you to do the surgery. <laughs> this is intense. Very emotional. Now we understand why uh, Abby's going through what she did. I think. I think Joel has. I think Joel did kill. All of her friends, her father, all of his, all of her family. Jesus Christ, I think he did. How many people have been down this hospital corridor many, many times after and before these events actually took place? It's unreal. How many? It's literally ludicrous to even think how many times we've been down this hallway and to, in this hospital. You have anything? No. Oh, we're gonna find our father dead. Yes, it's we are, because Joel. Building? Is that... Abby. No! Abby, don't look. Dad! Dad! Obvious. No! Predictable. No! Now we know. We know what Abby's been through. No! It's understandable now what Abby had to go through and why she killed Joel. Oh no. Don't fucking get up. I'm not watching this scene again. Please stop. Don't make Please me watch this you. scene again, dude. Joel, Why? Please get up. <gasps> no. Dude. No. Running help and dejo. Running help and dejo. Fucking 
pendejo. They didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look at my face. Uh, fuck your face. You should have been guarding the upstairs like I told you to. Move! Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up! Calm down! Now then! You gonna shoot me? Stop! Oh, this some of Joe's skull and blood and brains attached to that golf club, dude. That was just brutal. It may have reminded me the third or fourth part of Last of Us, what I've been trying to forget since I've started. One of my heroes, dead, destroyed, humiliated like that in front of his whole family. Oh, come on. And it's understandable now because Abby. that's what Joel did oh. to Abby's father. But Easy. Uh, so conflicting, dude. You okay, Abby? Are we playing with Abby now? Yeah, just... The whole time? What's up? Been searching everywhere for you. We've been called up. Isaac wants us at the front. Are you serious? I'm afraid so. We should hustle. So we once used to We're be the fireflies. Yes. Vamanos. Vamanos. So what they once used to be fireflies, they are now turned WLF, as I was trying to say before. They've turned... Abby's fucking huge, by the way. Your neck, your fucking triceps, your, your bice. Yeah, it, who was it this time? That cook chick? Nah. Weather chick. She's down from the mountain. Oh, the scientist. Nice. Uh, she's Why? a little too excited about her job. Talked my ear off about some storm and I don't know. Worth it though? Oh, absolutely. I can die happy now. <laughs> you should. Abby. You're never gonna do better Abby. Than her. Oh, that's understandable. I keep thinking the same thing. And yet, here we are. Yeah, here we are. That's understandable. That's probably why Abby's so fucking huge. There's a gym right next to her dormitories. Fucking sick, dude. I mean, I was gonna say, Abby makes Ellie looks like a, an ant, dude. She makes Ellie looks like a looks like an ant. She looks like an ant compared to Abby. Abby's huge, dude. Look at those buys. Look at the fucking shoulders. She should be an Avenger. Or well, technically she is, because she avenged fucking Joel. Well, she avenged her father, should I say. By bringing justice upon Joel, ladies and gentlemen. Seeking justice. We understand what she's been through. And it's understandable what they did. You know, Fireflies, they, they're W, they're, they're Fireflies turn WLF. Once Shinton Liberation Front, and that's understandable. Their past is what brought them upon these decisions, and it's what made them and shaped them. Jesus, this uh, uh, shaping, speaking about shaping, what the fuck shaped her? Because she is shaped. She is juiced. Fuck the cocktails. She's on that gym thing you know what i mean holy shit well let's keep this going look at the way she walks she's huge her forearms are bigger than my head help well we're playing with abby now dudes see where it brings us see where it reveals it's gonna be plenty of more revelations i'm curious the story is hooking it's hooking me up kids hello kids how you doing This place is sick. Hello, oh, they got a her oh, too. I was gonna say. Gentlemen never tell. Tells, yeah. Wow. It, she's ugly though, dude. She's not a male for anything. Like, come on, dude. Like, you could uh, actually, she's not bad. Come on, I'll give you dad. But seriously, her too, dude. Really, Manny? As soon as he said hello, Miss Potts, and she said hello, Manny. Like, hello, like that. It's like, yeah, they got a thing going. Now, you, it's just so, so obvious. So predictable. Right, time to go. I gotta talk to my dad for a second. Grab us some food? Yeah, on it. Get me something con picante. You get what you get. Con picante, so you want something spicy. All right, let Can we talk to this guy? Stacking the chairs. Why are you bumping into me? Who do you think you are? Little, mm. Don't make me say it. Don't make me say it a bit. Mm. Don't make me say it. 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 Right, we're going to get the food. All right, let's go get the food, dude. Hey, these Washington Liberation Fronts. These WLF have some some uh, 
I'm liking this assortment. Oh, what's up? They got some sort of nice... They got a good old assortment, you know? They're pretty hooked up. Got a pretty good crib. Look at the house, dude. I'm liking your space. Damn. Hey, Jordan. You coming with us to the Saravina? Uh, Manny and I just got called up to the FOB. What are you doing at the Saravina? Hotel and the school are getting evacuated. We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? Yeah, can you fucking believe after everything we're falling back? You don't know that's what it is. Uh, at least Leah might be home from the TV station sooner. Well, there's that, yeah. I should run. May your survival be long. And may your death be swift. May survival be long, may death be swift. So we got called to the forward operating base. We, um, and Leah. So Leah, again, we killed Leah. We killed a lot of these people, by the way. A lot of the WLF have been killed uh, since the start of the game. So we've killed a lot of them. Again, he mentioned Leah, and he said, may your, may your death be swift, may survival be long. No, his survival is not long. We fucked him up. I remember we killed this clown with Leah. We've killed this clown with Ellie. We've killed many of these people. And uh, it's it's quite heartbreaking, ladies and gentlemen. They got one hell of a home, ladies and gents. They're pretty stocked up here. They got food. They got dormitories. They got a fucking gym. They're, they're pimped out. You know? These clowns, are uh, they're stocked. Stacked. Stocked. Everything. Damn, son. Look at the food. These smokes. Let's see if we've got any more dialogues to trigger. There we go. Got one more here. Go for it. What are they serving today? Burritos. Again. Okay. Patty, what are you doing? Hey, tenemos prisa. Dame tres burritos. Hey, man, there's a line. Kitty, what the fuck? Excuse me. Wait your turn like the rest of Sorry. us. Sorry. We're going to the front. Come on. Ugh, so embarrassing. Why do you have three? Pull them back. Now, don't freak out. Mel's coming with us. M Mel? Manny? The one we killed? Where's your pack? In the room? Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about both of you. And I'm tired of all the bullshit. Does she know I'm on this drive? She does. And she's cool with it? Yeah. <laughs> Why does your yeah sound like a no? <laughs> <laughs> it's my accent. Come on. It's my Stop accent. <laughs> I think you get a kick out of making me uncomfortable. No. It's an opportunity for oh, see how she eats this. Move forward. We've barely said a word to each other since Jackson. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen? Of course not. I am, you son. To talk about it. She wanted Joel dead as much as the rest of us. But she's not like the rest of us. She hasn't hurt people like that before. <sighs> she, she kills scars all the time. Not the way we kill Joel. Don't forget. We are grunts. She's a medic. Come on, Abby. She's family. Do it for me. Okay? I'll try. That's all I'm asking for. She's already eating it. Jesus Christ. That burrito got devoured. That burrito got destroyed, eliminated, annihilated, gone, evaporated. That burrito got absolutely demolished. Jesus, of course. Because you got to feed those muscles. You have to feed energy. Glucose. That's what it's missing, baby. Holy smokes. Am so this is right from what I'm understand. This is right after they killed Joel, Mel, Owen. They're all still alive. Obviously, the people that we've seen, the game is showing us all the people we've killed so far uh, after the events of uh, Joel's death. So it's pretty cool seeing the eyes of these people, seeing the eyes of the what we call the enemy faction. But they had their own reasons, just like anything and anyone. Actions are usually justified by consequences from previous actions. It's like a triggering machine of. Uh, unparalleled events and un, you know uncontrollable events you could say it's like a chain you could say you set in motion one thing and another one takes place and then etc you know and it keeps on going 203 get your things ready I'm gonna you fit you, you sure you can fit in the door with those shoulders nice. bite, me. bite me yeah be nice I see a little bit cringe I'll be honest with you yo you got the view as well holy shit not only are they stocked up, they got a crib that looks like, you know, in an apocalypse, it's hard living anywhere, if anything. It's hard finding a place to start with. But no, these guys have a full fucking stadium with a gym, 
with some fucking with actual cafeteria food. Oh, damn, son. Holy smokes. I was going to say, you sure you can fit through that door with those shoulders, Abby? Damn, son. You sure you can fit through that door with those shoulders? God damn. What is this? Is that a bra? That's a bra. Scientist, huh? Got anything else to, uh... That's the pack we need to get. There's a door. I can hear moaning, dude. In my right here, I can hear moaning. And it ain't coming from outside of the headphones. There's people doing the dirty deeds. Knock, knock. Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. Hi. Hey. I actually cleared you for active duty. Barely. You could probably get a stay if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. And Owen's okay with this? Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on oh, our Oh, yes, I forgot because Mel and Owen had a thing. Go Owen back. impregnated, obviously, Mel. And that at the introductory missions of the game, in the introduction, we remember Abby being very, very pissed with Owen. And now she's trying to get along with her without making things any more awkward than they need to be and pretty much are already. Um, to make sure they form a somewhat, you could say, stable relationship. Because they're going to have to go hand in hand in a way. Because if you think about it, Abby is its is Owen's current girlfriend and always has been. And Mel is the one he, you know, slept with and by mistake conceived something in her, you know. And there you go. I'm trying to put this in so many, in so much better terms than what I am, and I'm embarrassed right now. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm trying. All right, all right, guys. I'm fucking trying. What are you getting called up for? It's just the usual rotation. Don't worry. Hey, uh, when you get back, will you check on my dad? He seems, uh, I don't know, worse. Worse how? Well, he's complaining about a sharp pain in his wrist. He can barely hold his spoon. Maybe we can get him some more painkillers. Heard they moved you and Owen to Section 96? Yeah, it's... it's nice. It's lots of young families. Getting you guys excited about the baby. Seeing all the kids running around, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> all those crying babies. Let's drive Owen crazy. He hasn't even seen it yet. He's out on rotation with Danny. Danny. Around on rotation. Look at these. Look at this yeah. place. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's giving me some Division 2 vibes. They have a whole stadium to themselves. Which turn which they turned into. Look, they got cattle. Props. They turned they turned into a full living home. A dynamic living place. For so many people. They even got dogs, hunting dogs. It's beautiful. Pets. These people have created a life for themselves inside the stadium. Whilst people are struggling out there to even go by one day. Out, That's playing. beautiful. Is this where you leave your pet at? Abby, you WLF dog kennel. Yes, it is. That's fucking sick, dude. Oh, I did. Love dogs, dude. Hey, girl. <laughs> you crazy dog. There's my favorite girl. The only one that'll put up with your shit. The only girl that would put up with his shit. That's actually kind of funny. Hey, uh, <laughs> you wanna go to the trucks? That's kind of lit, dude. Trucks. Can we pet this dog? Oh, hey there, bear. Uh, yeah, it's for the bull. So nicely. Oh, we get to pet it, but dude, can we throw the bull? Yeah. Go. You get a bull. Do it. Get a fucking bull. Get the bull. Bring it back.